Welcome back to SourceBet. I'm Candice Gonzalez. And I'm Steven Suptic. It's the holidays. Jingle, jingle, jingle. You eat a ham, maybe. Perhaps a lasagna. And what do you drink? Candace and I decided that what better way to get prepared for the holidays than to know the history of eggnog. We're going to take you through a journey of fear, anguish, survival, and happiness. So what is eggnog? It's a sweet, creamy surprise consisting of milk and or cream. Why is everybody creaming me today? People are going to be like, wow, that's cream boy. Sugar, whipped eggs, and sometimes adult alcohols. Where eggnog originated has been debated far too long, and an answer still isn't completely set in stone. Nog either started off as beer brewed in East Anglia in England, or it was a Middle English term stemming from noggin, which meant a wooden mug for alcohol. Each option is more boring than the last. Tell me something interesting about eggnog, please. Or well, Steven, noggin can also mean a person's head, so maybe it means brains. <laughs> Eggnog used to be uh, made of brains and egg. Oh yeah, that's pretty interesting. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Before eggnog, the drink was known as egg and grog. Grog was a term for rum, and the egg part of it was just some bullshit flipping practice bartenders did between two pitchers. Damn, now that's interesting. Thanks, you're welcome. We've got a famous quote here dating back to 1775 from clergyman and philologist and the first nog head, Jonathan Boucher, who may have been the first person to use eggnog in a sentence. He said, and I quote, Fog drums eth morn, or better still, eggnog. At night, hot suffings, and at midday, grog, my palate can regale. But in modern day English, that quote just means, mm, I'm drinking some eggnog in my jammies, bitches. <laughs> but how did egg and grog turn into eggnog? Well, one answer is that it may have been developed from posset, which was a medieval beverage made with hot milk and sometimes little eggies. In the early 20th century, eggnog was bitchin' everywhere. Puerto Rico loved it. It was called coquito and had rum and coconut milk. Peru and Mexico had their own versions of eggnog, but they were all super tight. Germans called their eggnog beer suppy. And that's where your name originated from. I heard from, uh, Beer subject. It had white wine, eggs, sugar, cloves, tea, lemon, and cinnamon. Then Britain made eggnog with eggs, milk, and sherry, and it was for rich people only. So how did eggnog get in grocery stores and taste like it does now? Pirates. No, actually pirates. They brought their version of eggnog to the American North, and their version was super eggy and creamy, and they even mixed it with coffee. Uh, mm, that's... Mm. Yum. So eggnog really encompasses the Christmas spirit in ways other drinks don't because its rich history, much like its rich texture, has been traded from culture to culture, just like Santa's <laughs> gifts. You know what else is a gift? Working with you. I wrote that in. Eggnog isn't all smoke and nog, though. There's a darker side, a side you don't hear about. In December of 1826 at West Point Military Academy, alcohol possession was banned, causing the eggnog riot. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, sh yeah! I fucking love Nog! The Academy uh, tried to make it an alcohol-free Christmas and gallons of whiskey were secretly brought into the campus, leading to a massive drunken riot in which one cadet tried to shoot his commanding officer. 20 cadets were court-martialed and believe it or not, Robert E. Lee was also there during the riot, but he, he was pretty chill and supposedly didn't do anything wrong. What's your favorite version of eggnog or do you hate it? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Steven Suptic. And I'm Candace Carrizales. Hey, how about Candace, you wanna come watch Cruise Ship Disaster with me? I don't have a lot of friends and I just was hoping that maybe like someone would hang out with me for once. Yeah, let's go watch Cruise Ship Disaster on the Discovery Go app. You can watch it too in the link in the description below or you can download the Discovery Go app in your app store. You really mean it? You'll come watch it with me? Uh-huh. Just this once. Never again. Never again. One! Code, that's an acronym, stay in school. The whole point of sexting is to say dirty ass sh so you can come. Letters are not gonna make me come. Just a little fun fact about me. I'm so sorry, mom. Is that the glue? Is that the glue? What's that dance all the white people do? What's, what is that? That's really old. It's called the whip. 